Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Sorry I did not have my uh, normal <laughs> cinematic, like, uh, <laughs> I guess drone style video <laughs> as an intro with, you know, all the music and stuff. Um, the reason I didn't is because today's episode is going to be exclusively on interiors, and the interior is going to be this cathedral. And <laughs> not that what I did wasn't cool, but it didn't exactly show up well as like a drone style video. So I figured it would be best shown just in person here. But I think you'll uh, you'll like some of the stuff that I did. Uh, that is for sure. So like I said, I have been working on the cathedral here. And if you've followed for a while, you'll know that I like to hop around um, and do different things. And the cathedral, it has been a while since I've had the inspiration to go back and work on it. Uh, because it is such a massive project, um, I've been working on trying to get the interiors into the towers here, especially. And so I've done all the exterior of the cathedral, obviously, and um, most of it's done in here. Although there are a few things that I want to still add that will just give it that extra touch of detail. But like I said, I'm very motivation driven. So when I get motivation and uh, inspiration for a project, that's usually what I work on. And the reason I do that is because if I force myself to do a project, then it tends to not look as good. So if you just, I guess, have some uh, patience and understanding with how I build, eventually everything in this world will, <laughs> will, all the projects will get done and all the interiors will be filled. But without further ado, let me show you the interiors. So to start here, um, we've got like a little welcome area. So this is just where you have information and where you can sign up to get on the email chain for the church <laughs> or however that works. If you've, if you've been to a church, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this is the little booth in the back where they take your email. And uh, in this case, it would be on your letter chain. They'll just send you mail. But uh, I figured that would be a funny addition. And uh, if you go back here, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> The communion storage area. So we have a giant vat of communion juice or wine or whatever it is back here. Um, and you have to get up here on this big platform to go over and stir it. And then when you go and get it for uh, giving it out during the service, you just uh, extract it from this tube into here and then just dip it in this this barrel of communion juice. Which, I don't know, I find this hilarious. <laughs> that, that a church or something would have a giant vat of, of the juice that they just continually mix in. And then also in my mind, if, you do, if there's stuff that's not drank completely, they just throw it back in there. <laughs> but you can see it's kind of like decorated like a storage facility up here. We've got the, uh, the cup that you would get it. But I think it's a really cool... <laughs> concept and then down below it is of course you know you have to have the crackers or bread so they're just piled up here in, in no shape or order so you just come up here and grab a handful of it and then go back out for the service <laughs> so that's what these wood like birch things are supposed to uh resemble is bread or crackers but i don't know i think this room is hilarious <laughs> i guess let me know what you think if, if this could be realistic for a uh, church or cathedral this big to have uh, a vat of communion juice and a giant just thrown together storage of bread and crackers. <laughs> but uh, with, with that, we'll go over to the other side. So uh, this this area had the entrance to the Red Flag base down here. So that's still here, but I obviously added a lot more things. And this is the coffee bar. So obviously your two front like public facing rooms are going to be your standard Nothing weird going on. So you got, you know, your welcome desk over there. And then over here, you got your coffee bar, you know, for in during service. If you're if you're bored, you can come back here and get a coffee, and keep, you know, li liven you up and keep things interesting. Or you can just chill out back here and just uh, drink coffee and talk while you're supposed to be in there paying attention. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I find this room pretty funny because of that. Here's a little thing where you can get it. Uh, all right, so going going on upstairs, 
you've just got kind of a transitional room. So that's because there's like, how many? One, two, three, four, four doors coming off of this room. And they're all pretty much in the same direction, which is a design nightmare, but it's going to have to work here because on the other side of this is, this is just a big giant tower going way up. And I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second. Actually, I'll just show you. This area is not done, but it's just a big tower and eventually we'll fill all of this. But um, So that, that thing is not there. We've just got some paintings. Of course, you always have to have Kung Fu painting. This goes back down there. And then right here, we just have the melon room. Why does this place have a melon room? I don't know. I just felt like putting a melon room in here. And this is some freshly sque squeezed watermelon. Yeah, I don't know why I put that there, but there's the melon room. Then you come through here, and this actually is the area that links between the two towers. And uh, you've got Mr. Fleem. This is where he lives. This is the guy that's, uh, that runs the church. And uh, he's got a nice little place, just got a little platform bed up here. And uh, he's got his bathroom and his uh, storage closet, just standard storage closet design. But it also, the closet off also doubles as the bathroom door, which I think is a wonderful design option and great for saving space. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. But uh, not, nothing too special. So that's Mr. Fleem, and continuing down the hall, we have another room, and that's Mr. Dr. Fleem II. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Fleem's son, <laughs> who also works here, and uh, he's got a similar design, just a platform bed, um, different area, the bathroom, uh, standard closet, <laughs> although this one does not double as a bathroom door. We're just going to assume that he's not going to have much guests over, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and he only gets one door. I guess second command has to have a lesser <laughs> room. And then up here, this is just the entrance onto the, uh, the next tower. So, yeah, not much going on here, but I do have a couple really cool ideas. So this, I think, might be a library up here. Either this room or on top of the, uh, <coughs> the other room would be, um, I think, the library. And then I'm going to put, I think I might put a treasury in <laughs> where they where they collect all the donations, of course. And uh, obviously, you know, since this is red flag sponsored church, we've got to have <laughs> a red flag uh, office up there at some point. But yeah, that's kind of the idea with it. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this uh, build down in the comments. If you like these rooms or if you have any different suggested rooms. Um, I did see where someone suggested that I put a chandelier in up here. And I completely agree with that. I'm just working on getting the materials for that. So that will be eventually be done. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any ideas for the cathedral. It's definitely um, one of my favorite builds on this world at least the outside is. So I want to make the uh, the interior reflect that. And I think we've got a good start. The uh, communion room is, is one of my personal favorites for sure. Um, I'm not for sure where I'll be working in the next episode. Um, probably just tomorrow, whatever I get on and get inspiration for. But um, I'll definitely be doing a few more of the, uh, the rooms in the cathedral, especially if you guys suggest them. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, Next episode, hopefully, I will uh, be back with the old cinematic intro and uh, get all that stuff back to normal. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next one.